Stop using counter as a way to get out of combos. You're gonna die, my friend. This move is a specialist. Unlike other TPs, counter focuses on one particular kind of situation, but does it extremely well. It tries losing to projectiles, grabs, and whiffs to be able to counter strikes like no one else. But this also means that your chances of successfully triggering counter are kinda low, meaning you're likely getting punished if you use this as a reversal. Counter works as follows. Upon inputting forward and forward kick, Dahlia enters a parry state for 26 frames. If she doesn't get hit, she gets disappointed. But if she does get hit, however, light version will hit in front, medium version will hit behind, and heavy version will teleport to your toilet. Unless you don't have one, in which case counter won't pop up in the first place. Heavy counter being the only version that can also trigger on projectiles, making it the best version defensively speaking, since well, it cannot be baited or safe jumped. And since most players don't block cross up taking your counter, medium counter is the best version offensively, especially good to take the corner back making light counter mostly usable as a mix-up with medium counter, so if they bait the counter with a safe jump, they won't know where to block, left or right. Another good use for L counter, light counter, is to keep the corner. Now, using counter is always a gamble, but gambling is bad, so what we're gonna do instead is they calculate the risks, minimizing our chances of getting punished while maximizing the probability of triggering counter. For the former, there is a simple solution, Call in an assist as you input counter. Simply input it forward down forward assist macro will call an assist at the same time you do counter. This makes it so that if you don't get hit in time, the assist will cover your recovery. One of the most important things I could ever recommend anyone about counter is abusing this. The counter plus assist equals safe combo. Works everywhere, anytime. You can only get punished by long range pokes like Dahlia's jumpy high kick or Robo Fortune's beam super for example. So as long as you take those into consideration, you have this tool in your bag to win neutral, especially good when paired with a lockdown assist like Ceracopter or H Osiris Spiral that covers your entire 360 area around you, and also very effective against people jumping in on you from above, since well, they cannot grab you while they are on the air and you are on the ground. Now, to maximize the probability of triggering under, we want to look at these two things. One, assists, and two, habits. The only way to achieve 100% chances of triggering counter is countering or reaction, but the problem that comes with said strategy is that you must have insane reaction skills to pull this off. And since most of you have the reaction time of a potato salad, we have a problem. I made a C++ code on code blocks to see how fast I could input counter from a starting position of holding back, and the results were an average of 150 milliseconds, which is 11 frames, without me super sweating it, of course. To that, we add the average human reaction time to special stimuli, which is 250 milliseconds or 18 frames, and another 4 frames that take moves to start becoming recognizable, and we are left with 33 schoolgirl frames that we need in order to react and input counter successfully, meaning any move below 33 frames of startup, on average, is impossible to react to on countering time. It will require you to predict that move in order to counter it effectively. Now, no move in the game has 33 frames of startup, that's ridiculous, but one thing in particular does, and everyone has it, which is assists. Assists take 20 frames from the moment they are called to hop onto the stage and start doing their move. 20 plus whatever amount of frames of startup that move has, and BAM! Slow assists like h brass h lock and load or Umbrella Seeds HP become super easy to counter on reaction, at any time you see them spamming. Possibly the best second assist in the game, Brass. Just counter plus assist, it's gonna be safe, and most of the time you get a free cross up on a moment where the enemy thought they had the advantage. This also means that now the opponent cannot pressure you with set assist in neutral without thinking it twice. Now, to expand on this strategy, I invite you to start PVCG in lockdown assist into counter for the same reward. 50 50 on the opponent, you're guaranteed to trigger counter, and now they cannot pressure you with a lockdown assist and stay near it, or they'll risk a 50 50. Now, 33 frames would seem like a lot, but remember, this is only on average. You can practice and hone this skill to lower how much time it takes you to react on counter. I recommend you to hop on training mode, set 3 bot recordings, one blocking low plus any DP assist. One walking back plus any DB assist, and another one blocking low plus Robo Fortune HC on IP assist or any other projectile assist. The goal is to dash to LK to MP. 
If you see any DP and they block, you counter. If you see any DP and they didn't block, you go for a happy birthday route. If you see Robo Fortune, Robo will get hit by the 2 MP, so don't worry, but also, do not counter. This way, with number 1, you practice reacting to assist calls, with number 2, you practice not countering when you hit the opponent, and with number 3, you practice distinguishing strike assist from projectile assist. Do this 15 minutes a day, and after a week or two, you should be able to apply this online very consistently. The end result should be you being able to pressure people who call DP assists as soon as you get near them and crossing them up without them expecting it, using their assist call to warranty counter to work or also nullifying their attempt to turn the tables around. There's nothing like counter and assist in a man's respect and happy bears that your way to jail. <laughs> now before coming into the habits uh, that you can counter consistently, I want to tell you about the do not. This is a subjective set of rules I set myself on situations that counter usually tends to fail more than trigger. Number 1. You shall not use counter to get out of combos. It is not a 50-50 between are they doing something or are they not. If they are doing something, it cannot be a grab, it cannot be an air grab with, it cannot be a strike with, a projectile, it has to be a strike that hits. And even then, it can sometimes be safe jump. So I don't recommend using it as a reversal, especially don't do this on wake up from a hard knockdown, it's super obvious you will try to reversal. Number 2. You shall not approach on counter expecting them to mash you first, that's just stupid. Number 3. You shall not use counter without assists, unless the chances of triggering it are super high, like counter assists, but even then, it would be better, wouldn't it, if you use an assist to cover you up for if they randomly block, it would. Number 4. You shall not use counter at all against Peacock, Robo Fortune, Beast Fortune, or Philia. Peacock and Robo have too many projectiles. Fortune, when headless, it's. well, again, too many projectiles. Head on, it's just like Philia. Too much staggers moves, meaning they can block the counter as they don't commit much. It's basically just infinitely safe jumping you. Finally, number 5. You shall not spam it. Too much of anything is bad, including counter plus assist. In fact, use it as little as possible to keep it like a you know like a hidden ace in your arsenal. Yeah, that probably covers most combo habits Dahlia players have when using counter. Alright, finally we have opponent habits as the last thing we encounter with high probabilities of triggering the counter. Habits will depend on what your opponent tends to do, meaning this will vary from match to match. But I'll now give you a list of pointers you can look out for that most players do while playing these characters. Universal. After they push block you on your box strings, do they tend to mash or reversal? If so, counter on reaction to the BBCG. After you whiff an attack near the opponent, do they quickly try to punish you? If so, counter on whiff. Following on this, if you detect this habit of them, you can bait them by whiffing big moves like 5 HP or 5 NK on purpose and counter in a neutral. Against Squiggly, when they jump back, do they tend to do jumpy high punch? If so, that's safe to counter. If you are doing a normal against Pain Wheel and they are tanking it with armor, you can try to react to it by countering. I mean, it's hard, but the only other option you have to not get counter hit would be a power, which is much slower. Some Eliza players love approaching with jumpy video game, or spammy jumpy light kick jumpy heavy punch. Don't let them pressure you too much, especially if you have a good assist like Ceracopter or H of Ceres Spiral to make your counter super safe around you. Remember, if they are on the air, they cannot grab you. Unlike Painwheel, who can easily fly cancel it, Double's Jumpy High Punch can be reacted to as they jump in on you, and it is a relatively safe bet. On Beowulf, do they tend to do Jumpy Heavy Punch approaches? Hahaha, <laughs> Lamau, imagine. Counter that dog as soon as they are on the air. Be careful though, a good bail can do jumping to HK to bait the counter, otherwise trap works really well on this. On Umbrella, Slurp and Slide can be reacted to even though the timing depends on distance, otherwise it can be just nullified with trap honestly. And on Valentine, some Valentines tend to shoot across and then air dash jump in medium punch, look out for it. In conclusion we want to use counter alongside an assist to cover a recovery, not use counter as a reversal since you're most likely to die and use counter against opponent's assist since it's 100% guaranteed it's gonna trigger. And finally, I swear this is the last thing, counter gives you a stage 3 combo, which usually means a little damage, unless you do one of these routes I'm now gonna show, but for this, you gotta have the habit of doing counter and then inputting last call on hit quickly, so try to input forward down forward medium kick 
and then down back double kick every time you go for a counter to build a good habit. Having said that, these are the best counter hit combos I found. And that's all folks, you should now be able to use Thunder to its max potential. If you like the video, don't doubt to subscribe and hit the notify bell to get notified when I inevitably make more Dahlia content. I wish you the best, until then, see ya! Yeah, fair. Also, fuck your counter guide, Mercury, I'm gonna keep using it as a reversal just because you said that. I know you're right, but like, also fuck you for being right. God, that actually makes me angry. Uh.